When someone enters your home, you give them the very first impression. So the foyer, whether it is narrow, wide, or a long hallway, it really sets the standard for the rest of the house. Now, all things being considered, you decorate where you are. You decorate with the things that you have, and you decorate according to your style. One of the things that I had to keep in mind was the position of the light switches and the outlets, and also the colors, because as you know, I love blue and white. I've suddenly just decided to walk that season out and deal with it because I was starting to collect a lot of things, but never really pull it all together. So I'm definitely making a gallant effort to do that now. Now with our foyer, you will see that there's a DIY where I made over this small curio cabinet. I'll link that video in the description box of this video. That cabinet was originally mahogany and I wanted it to be metallic. So it was pretty easy to update using spray paint. But remember, you always need to do a base coat when you're doing these spray paints in metallic. And the other thing I wanted to do was to style the cabinet, style it according to what the colors were and what I was trying to do, which was make that space cohesive with the dining room space. And anytime, Anytime that you can see clearly into the opening of another room from the room that you're standing in, you really want to consider connecting the spaces. So I've started to practice that a lot. And it doesn't mean that I'm going to write go crazy with blue and white like everywhere. So I may do blue and white in one room or blue and white and yellow in another room and a blue, white and orange in another room. But my base is centered around blue and white. Welcome to Amateur Decorating Like a Pro, I am Catherine. As I mentioned to you guys in the last video, I am going to go ahead and update the foyer. And again, using existing items from around the house. Now, I did carry on with the blue and the white. So one of the things that I really enjoy doing is studying traffic patterns in homes, how people move through spaces. That's the main thing you really want to consider when you're decorating a space, how people move about the existing space and then what will they want in the new space to make them comfortable. Now I noticed that when our sons would come from upstairs or my husband would go upstairs, it was very awkward. They would turn to the side and very often when they come from upstairs, they turn wide and then go over near the cabinet and I did have this umbrella holder there near the outlet and I noticed that it was always crooked or twisted somehow in a way. I don't know how they walk but obviously that pattern of walking was not going to change so that meant I needed to adjust. So what's the adjustment? Don't put anything there. These glasses were existing items from the buffet in the dining room. You know that fabulous blue from the Dollar Tree. Now what you're looking at here is a simple way to take a plate and place it on the wall. At first I was just going to do the adhesives, but once I put them on the wall, take a look right here. You see how they're leaning away from the wall? I don't think that's an attractive look, especially since you can see these bowls from two different sides, whether you're standing in front or coming down the hallway. So you want to really make sure that both views look nice. So I decided to do an alternative method. It took a little bit of time, but in the end, it worked out. First, I decided to use those plate adhesives that I normally would get from Hobby Lobby, and that didn't work. You saw that look. So now it's time to come up with an alternative. I decided that I would take two of the large stirrers, the ones that you use for the large uh, five gallon cans of paint, and I would cut them down to about three inches in length. Several pieces, got six of them. Then I would glue them together side by side using construction glue. Then I would apply that to the back of the plate. But prior to doing that, I needed to take the keyhole fastener, draw the shape on it, and then drill in the holes where the screws would be, and also drill in an opening for the screw that would be on the wall to be inserted into the keyhole fastener. 
the drill really came in handy this time. It was able to create the holes that I needed. And of course I had to just scoop a little bit out with a um, screwdriver, but I got it done. And then I applied it to the back here using construction glue, the Gorilla Glue. I then painted it with some, um, I believe it was opaque blue paint to make sure that it matched the bowl in color because I didn't want that yellow reflecting from the back of the bowl. I took some construction glue, applied it to the back of these four inch mirrors. I had two of those and of course I have three of the bowls but um, I'll see what it can do about the other one and then I just applied it to the center of the bowl. I think that is absolutely stunning. That mirror did a great job using that same painter's tape guys that I used before. I'm placing it on the wall. This is officially my marker. I know where the screws are going to be. I also know right where the screw is going to insert into that keyhole fastener too. So the one on the left is up before and of course the right is after. You see the difference a little effort can make. A much cleaner presentation. The other thing is the outlets. The outlets in the foyer, I really wish that I could take our light switch and move it over, but there's no way I could do that. So I do need access to it. And that's the question about electrical outlets and light switches when you're decorating. Do you need access to them? If you need access to them, be careful what you put in front of them. Now, if someone were to come to my home and ring the doorbell and I'm trying to get to the front door and let's say it's dark, I'm gonna reach for that switch to turn on the light on the front porch and turn on the light in the foyer. So I need access to that light switch. I can't really put anything heavy in front of it or anything too big to cover it up or I can't nicely get to it. So that's one of these reasons why the small floor arrangement would be better here. Well, let's pull it together guys and let you see how we just connect the dots from the dining room into the foyer. I think that if there is an opening, a doorway from one room to the next, there isn't necessarily a door, but an opening. It is so nice to connect the spaces with a cohesive color or style. I do plan on adding another bowl to this wall on the very bottom. I think it will be perfect right above that outlet and I think it does need one more so just letting you know as an FYI if you should see that in the next year or so. Now this may send some of you in a whirlwind but I removed the tag from my lamp cord. That yellow paper or white paper attached to the cord hanging right there off the cord that's sticking into your outlet it's just not pretty please remove the paper there's a couple of questions that you had about the centerpiece in the dining room not the lemons but the floral arrangement well i am going to go back and put together a quick video around that we're just going to disassemble it and put it back together and at the same time i'll just go ahead and share the floral arrangements for the living room as well as the piece that is on the uh, curio in the foyer now i've got another video coming up and i'm going to put that on diy Friday. i've gotten some questions about some practical things that we are doing in our home to survive this pandemic and guys some of them are a little amusing but you know they're practical and it is what it is so go over to DIY Body and subscribe to that that video is starting to film on Sunday and should be available on Monday I want to thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy schedule to watch this video if you're not a subscriber please consider doing so today not only do I want you to press the red button but press the bell as well and then select how often you want to receive notifications about this channel. Thanks a lot for watching and as always stay in prayer. Take care of yourself and stay creative.